making the real to happen the real kusababisha uhalisi yani ukweli wa mambo ya tedeke now we've come to discover that most people are not real you are ever never real never the real you has never happened have never surfaced no at what church sana who dare to become real who dare unapata kwamba most people ukifika pahali ambapo unatakiwa utende jabu usababishe mambo kuna uoga hukushika niwaambie kitu kimoja mtu aliye kwa ibada hii kama ugekuwa real the real you is a rich person the real you is a big person the real you is a great person the real you ule mwenye anaitwa wewe haujafanyika kile tunaona ni maumbira na features but the real you has never happened hello praise god uh, uh, let me say this by god's grace una vijana hapa wako hapa they are millionaires but they are never unakuta mtu ni millionaire the real you is a millionaire the real you is a mighty man of god a man of god the real you when mtu ambaye actually nimehudumu miaka kadhaa na watu wengi ambao nawajua some of the mp some of the uh, kuna wakati chairman wa naivas was my uh, aliaga my friend some of these people and, and, and i don't know what happens in my life watu wengine wakubwa sana kenya nikutana tu hivi we we become nafanyika baba wa kiroho and some of them share with me bishop hello praise god anakwambia 10 years ago i was a hooker nilikuwa navuta mkokoteni na labda mlikuwa na yeye ni nini anakuambia aliamua 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 kusababisha jabu fulani litedeke haleluya kwa maana maisha haya is not the way you appear maisha haya is your performance uh, did you get what talking about una basa mbona mvata na nyimbo zangu nakaka hapa bere wakati wa presentation don't read bulletin uh, are you understanding hapa bere mtu hasi kuwa naiba hapa na no, unasoma bulletin hiyo ni madharau bulletin soma tu lakini uje mapema hello praise god kama ibara ni ya 6 kuja 5:30 have time to read the book bulletin have time to adjust have time to renew your strength hallelujah dio sasa ibada ikianza because it's good usome bulletin kabla ya ibada kuja 5:30 actually sometimes nikuja pa saa 10 and uh, and i discovered some of the workers wanafika saa kumi na nusu some brothers mnaona hapa wanafika mapema sana and i and nona pata mtu anapanguza meza mwingine anaomba mwingine anaosa cho some are interceding i like that i like that any any ministry any ministry requires ufike mapema at least 30 minutes that means a kujiada and god you bless you i'm not saying you are evil but i'm saying if somebody is preaching una celebrating somebody is saying damn yesu naweza una celebrating au unaangalia huko kristino anaiba unaangalia sometimes unamvuja na neno wibo ule alie anda kukubaliki naye anajua hakika huko shika si ni kweli wapendwa in the church in the presentation listen to the word sometimes after wimbo nazadika message God you bless you in a mighty way. Salimieni kama mnaisikia. God bless you. God keep you. Is it okay? Amen, amen, amen. Ah, inaonekana Beth ana anataka azini anasema imeni kubwa. Namna hiyo. Ah, ya asante. Now, niseme hivi. Look at these people. Kuja ni nyinyi mko bere hata kibet nyinyi nyinyi nyote. Ah, tuache tuache ah hata wadada wakuje kuja ni nyote hata hata engineer mhm ha ha how 
do these people appear? Today, where? Today, okay, I'm getting. I'm getting kabisa. Oh boy, sasa nataka wale waze wa salimie. Unafikiri hapa nani mkubwa sana? Nani akona pesa sana? Nani akona sifa sana? Kama ni mara yako ya kwaza kuwana. That's a mistake about Samuel alifanya alipoeta kwa Jesse. Samuel alipoeta kwa Jesse, vijana wala wakubwa, dio actually the firstborn agemumagia mafuta. Akabano stop it. This is not the greatest. Wapili. Actually, ata aliita wa kwanza masihi. Masihi. Who you dear the, the messenger? Who you dear the anointed? Ma, masihi means the anointed one. Go say now, Samuel. Don't call him that name. Where? What you see here is not the real. Ninguo na uso. Natubo, kama ura namana sasa, munga. The other day, I saw such a boy from Kenya. There's a show in America, their talents. Such a boy. At that show, matajiri wa America, they invest a lot. And the boy presented a song from Kenya. I can present to people. Can we too? Na out of all people at Americans, kijana wetu wa Kenya kawin. The gift was millions and millions of dollars. And na kariwa kanava tu kama hivi. You could be greater than all these men. One, umeiba wibo. That's a talent. Uhaja hii iba tatuji talent hako. Weo nakujo na keti hapa ibade kisho naenda. Asi na ubaze. Toho kealia. Sisi wakeo kweri. Baba kingoli ina natuogoza komirade wana jenga cho huko. Sasa hata milako tunakaka na hee. Sasa watu na wewe. In the church. Who do you, who are you in the church? Ispokuwa. Sisi wakeo tu kwe. Sisi wakeo tu kwe. Ispokuwa mde ingi wana keti hapo. Unatoka. Una kitu ingine? Mzee. Ah, of course, wakati wa matangazo unanisaidia kupeana makaratasi. Hapo 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 tunajua. <laughs> Who are you? Ukiniambia ni mwibaji wewe si mwibaji? We don't hatuasikia wibo wako hata CD. Tulisikia your brother pale. Sasa wewe tangu nikupatie mke ni uzee tunaona unaingia na si mbaya, barikiwa. <laughs> Ijinia tagu nampatia muke siku hizi ya nastarea. Nakuja na keti pale, akimaliza naenda. Tuwagea ukweli. Si ijinia lazima atoke katika. You know skills? Skills. Hello, praise God. Uh, the other day I met a doctor. Akaniabia kwa kanisa lao. Yeye. Amejitolea. Akona ka office ya meazisha. I don't have to start for you. You need to team bishop. Can I help the church? Kuna mamba bao si yangu. Ni wata niyambia. And then I help you. Kuna mwato na kwa jea te bishop akujegea, akujegea. Mimi, kazi yaku ni microphone na maono. Mwapa yako, ni yako. It's up to you, niyambie. I remember, the other, the, kuna wakati ni yada Britain, Levere Kavivi, adisababisha out of the money that I had. Ninunue speaker breeze a bass, amplifier a bass, na guitar a bass. Kwa maana inabia bishop usikuche bila set ya base. Na nripo leta alicheza yu base kabisa. Mimi sige nunua ya nini na ee. That's makuwe na mtu ambaye ananisaidia kupromote the talent. Is, is it okay? You appear great but you're not great. Greatness is your appearance. Greatness is performance. Greatness is talent. Greatness ya mtu is influence. Amen. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Leo, Leo Ruto na watawara. Na the other day, sin president, si yako hapo, upede o zipede diya raisi. Okimuita hasora, umuite, alikuwa na usa kuku. 
Tunaenda naye mazishi ya Bishop Jiri asema atete share some things with Bishop Jiri. Bishop Jiri alikuwa mtu wa kufuka kuku. Naye sasa asema hii mzee tunafarara mimi nilikuwa mtu wa kuku. But sasa hakukaa kwa kuku. Kuna wakati JJ Kamodo alikuwa a prominent protestian. Alikuwa pale Koinange Street ako na kaduka kuza chips. Within mezi, miaka mbili akawa MP wa Kangema. Within one month akawa minister of higher education. It took only three, three years kutoka duka ya chips Koinange Street akawa minister of higher education. Kutoka hapo sasa hawezi muita tena mtu wa ni mtu wa kuku au ni viazi. Hallelujah. Eh, nyinyi ni watumia tu kama mfano sasa unachoa sasa unakaa bere hata mtaanza rudi tena hapa tena diweza kitu kile hallo please god you are all great lakini leo mlikuwa teaching it katini <laughs> hallelujah bwana sasa sana unajua kuna kijana mmoja hapa alikuwa amekula sana that man made sure he is ever smart lakini mara kwa mara ageniomba fair mara kwa mara ageniomba bisho msaidie kulipa nyumba lakini hake sema openly msimjue anajificha kwa maana presentation yake was a presentation of a great man but i knew katika siri yake he is the poorest person in this church alikuwa kijana Wasana wangemwona hapa kusema I wish uli again niuliza. Okay. Nani kesema ungejua ni nani huyu? Kuna wakati mmoja kulikuwa kuna chakula watu wanapika. Akasema wacha nikule. Nikikosa kitu kingine nipelekee mama yangu mwili. <laughs> Hello. From today wakati umefika you make things become real. Kuna dugu moja hapa ako na kinyosi pale chini. Sijika uh, kuja. Kuja kinyosi eh, yadi ananyoa baba Dennis. Kuja hapa. Si unajijua? Eh, uh, uja basi siku hizi. Na vile mtu anakuja kanisani anazidi kusoga mbele. Hapana Sa- kaaga nyumba wewe. Au namna gani? Habari yako? Eh. Na customer acha nyolewa. <laughs> eh? Eh. Sasa hii umonyoe mpaka December. Account yako ya account yako account yako. Hiyo <laughs> ni account ya Baba Dennis ya Kenyus. Hata unaweza onyoro hata onyoro hata devu sasa brother. Hallelujah. Weko kwa ufuko sasa. Unaona kama itaisha lini? Lakini sasa utaongeza bei hizi haraka nuna gani? Wanatoka sasa. Eh? Wanatoka sasa. Eh. You see this brother ananyoa pale chini. But one time ata akiwa si wa kanisa he discovered something about the church and tithing. Na nikakuta karibu nifikiria ameharibu ameharibika kichwa. Alikuwa anafanya campaign wapi? Mukitaka baraka. And then go gatimo. Alafu mambo ya tithe. Alikuwa anapatia mke wake bahasha akija uh, alikuwa anaambia mke wake no kitoka kanisa bahati unete bahasa bahasa nini ya tithe what are you doing even is clear your story i don't know i don't know uh, na hizi mic mnaka hapa mbele bwana huku ni nyuma sana na siku hizi unanyona style nzuri hata hata unataka account utanyona hata huyo sasa acha nifungulie mwingine account sasa huyu ni kijana yake ni kidogo we customer <laughs> ah. Now what nini ni kwenda tadeka ni upeane eh, ongea kidogo tu Praise God church Praise God again Ah Aja hizo baba hapa bere uta haya eh Nilikuwa hata nilikuwa customer yangu pia eh eh wakati <laughs> Eh customer number 1. Eh sasa eh nikafungulia baraka. Sijui ni semani ni cause. Dari kuna siri na breakthrough kwa kutaifu. Mimi siko na kuja kanisa. But kila siku every Sunday bibi yangu akuja kanisa nilikuwa naomba endo kuje na basha. From that day 
mambo yakaanza kufunguka ikafunguka ikafunguka hata sasa baba Dennis jana asisiongei sana <laughs> but kuna siri kwa kutaki kuna siri kwa kutaki na please 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 don't give hata kama mambo inaenda iwe endelea tu endelea tu endelea tu hapo mbele utafurahia amen bwana asifiwe ana mengi sasa unajua hiyo bahasha ikija let me to a secret na unajua taif siri ya taif moja ni kutoa taif yote most people don't taif unatoa taif ya mshahara you don't taif go taif ni akira ki sasa alikuwa anaweka bahasha akinyoa mtu taif anaweka pe unajua that kind of being careful eh? anaweka kila siku akikunyoa ukilipa taithi anaweka mwisho wa wiki anafuga akwambia mama pereka praise god sasa wako na mali mambo mengi sana within one year things are happening akiongea inaitwa discovery revelation you see the way ako sasa wewe zikiria yenu wa maana lakini he is becoming great god bless you salimiana sasa you see kanisani uweza kuta mimi niko very smart lakini melaaniwa kwa maana sijagudua sijagudua issue ya mtu kuwa kuwa is not the way you appear it is your performance kanisani hata Mungu hana haja haja not the way you appear is the favor miaka hiyo mekaa kanisani umekutana na Mungu mpaka ukawa na favor Oh, you are still ungali unangangana ukitafuta Mungu. Umekaa miaka mbili kanisani, watakiwa already amen. Uwe Mungu mlimekutana, umejua jia zake na unajua fever yake. Bwana sio sana. Sasa ule alianza kubarikiwa na mali sana akiwa haja kuja kanisa mpaka akaanza kuongea mambo ya kanisa kabla hajafika. Anaambia mama, utoa kanisa baada ta The secret of the brother is that Maria alikuwa na kawaida bahasha. Akikunyoa shilingi tatu ukitoa tatu anaweka. That careful giving. Kwa maana watu wengi hajui hiyo. Unastukia tu Friday sijui Saturday unaweka weka tu pesa hapo. And you need to have a process of discovery. Process of Kwa maana ukiangalia the way Mungu huwa anaongea wapendwa. Ah 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 there's something wrong on our side. When God says it's you know it's so bad. Niwe kanisani bere ya hadi za Bwana. Kabisa. Bwana anaosema you shall be the head and not the tail. And I'm in the church for 20 years. Na watch my neighbor akiulizwa bahati hapa. Au akiulizwa kule umoja. They don't see any difference. Hello praise God. How are only anything even your children wakiulizwa your own children watoto leo za na wewe ni mhubiri na wewe ni wewe ni kiongozi wa kanisa wewe unakuwa kwa ibada paka watoto wanashidwa what is wrong with our mom what is wrong with her with our mom mimi ni bana mama yetu kwa maana amekuwa kanisani ni muombaji ni mzuri you see i've seen people who are real intercessors but cannot be blessed ni muombaji lakini hajagudua mambo ya taifa. Ni, mu, ni mtu wa sifa lakini hajagudua favor. Wakati umefika wapendwa tujifanye let the reality of God yonekane. Kama Mungu amesema ni Mungu wa kulinda, wacha tu kwa na testimony ya Mungu na leader. Kama Mungu anasema ni Mungu ambaye hutoa watu mafubini, wacha ijulikane. You don't even have to say Anybody who sees you anajua it has happened to you in Jesus Christ's name wakati umefika in this church mimi na wewe unafiki uishe you know if jesus call me an hypocrite na wewe akuita hypocrite haja kosea unajua biblia haitopebrezi hello praise god bwana asiwe sana bwana asifiwe Unajua wazugu sometimes they are very real. Kile kinafanya wazugu sasa zingine wanabarikiwe they are very real. 
Ukienda kanisa wa wazungu wasema wa wabe hivi. Sunday kila mtu aje na mshirika mpya. Wazungu hawajui kudaganya. Utaona Sunday kila mmoja wao ako na kanisa na mtu mmoja mmoja ameleta. That's how the churches grow. Wakiwambua tithe utakuta they are so sincere. So sincere. Hello praise God. Eh hawajui kudaganya kacha yao wale kabisa riu hawajui kudaganya akikwambia kesho atakucha saa tatu ni saa tatu akikwambia atakuletea kiatu ni kiatu shida ya makanisa yetu hapa ni kwamba we, we people are not becoming real hallelujah bwana sasa sana you know one time uh, i met with pastor Ronnie Bernard aka bishop mmetoka Malaysia Nimepitia hapa naenda South Africa. Naenda kuombea watu 500 wajazwe. Ngambi uh, 500 hii what happened? Akaniambia nikienda Malaysia tulitangaza kanisani. Tujaribu juu chini walipanga washirika waleta watu 500. Akaniambia alipoenda Sunday leo fuatwa aliambiwa watu 500 already wameletwa wako kwa ho wakifudishwa amen praise god hallelujah sasa alikuwa anaenda kwa mama wili asema nikifika kuna ubatizo wa watu 500 wakimaliziwa ninawekelea mikono wajazwe things become real amen Leo kiambiwa brother hubiria watu wawili kila wiki waokoke. Si unaweza? But you, you don't do it. Leo leo my sister Joseph ukiambiwa is it possible uwe tajiri? The real you is very rich. The real you. The real you is very rich. Amen. Hallelujah. Kuna tabia katika mwanadamu ya uoga usioeleweka. Na ni watu wachache sana hushida wa uoga. People who dare who truly dare. In Jesus name hallelujah. Watu wengine mnaona ni matajiri, they are people who made things real. Kuna mzee mmoja huyo za billionaire, ainabia bishop, bishop. Mimi nilikuwa hoka na kanionyesha bila likuwa hoka lakini yeye ni wale watu ambao hello praise god ukimwachia hii speaker umwambie hii speaker ndio tajiri wako ataanza utajiri na speaker ataeuza shilingi 1000 praise the lord atoe fungu la 10 naanze biashara ni wale watu i don't know that person <laughs> kuna kitu alikuwa amenunua kakitu kadogo sijui akinunua vitu UK tulikuwa na UK kuna kakitu alikuwa amenunua inatumika kupaka kupaka gari gari rangi just a small component ambao Kenya hakuna kakitu tu kadogo already anakuambia vile anaona within three months atakuwa ameingiza kama 5 million na hiyo kakitu anaona making things real kwa kesho ise nataka hiyo gap ishe It's true. You look smart because uko na akili ya kuwa smart but you are never smart in performance. Unaonekana uso wako you are beautiful you are handsome. It's true. You reflect some glory. Lakini kufanya things work out is a problem. Na hiyo ndio gap iko katika maisha. That's the gap we have. Bwana asifiwe. You know there's one sister Uh, who is always on social mobility that lady namjua akiwa chair lady wetu one of the branches hamwezi kana yeye kama hakuna hatu anachukua any time aga bishop kuja nione naenda eh anakuambia bishop kuna kitu nataka kufanya gani kuna scholarship nimeona nataka hata mimi nipate moja Hakuna kitu kilikuwa kinampita. Wakati wakabia akabia umeapply eh umeitwa wapi? 
nimeitwa Manchester nikafanye master's degree ya mwaka mmoja nani mama ah nitaenda bishop ndabia mzee ni peruhusa akarudi akirudi akona degree ya master's one year sasa akapata wa mama alikuwa chairid alirudi akawa edi agari mwaka mmoja hakutolewa alikuwa agari chairid aliye na master's degree anaita sasa niliacha mkiwa hapa mimi kwa mwaka mmoja nimekuja na degree ya master's can you tell me ni nini nyinyi mwefanya that one year because one year is time that can make a significant change praise the lord kuna msana mambo dada wetu mmoja ino aliambia aliambia my brother ninaenda ngambo mhm what has happened mimi nataka nataka kwenda kupata unapata kila wakati akiamua kitu anaamua kabla na sasa nataka kwenda Mungu anifungulie mrango nikifanye PhD. Kukaa kabia bishop, my brother, nimepata scholarship. Two years were enough. Only two years. Two years. Akona PhD. Baada ya PhD, two months, ni lecture university. Akaambia, akaambia bishop, unajua sheria wa Australia? Unajua sheria za Australia? Ni gani? Mtu akiwa lecturer ameruhusiwa kuwa citizen na familia yake within few months naona wamepigwa picha wameandika citizens of australia you know unaona three years there are so great changes naonaweza ka for three years akulize what have you done na hakuna pesa ako naye hakuna pesa she has never used any money ni wale watu who dare to make things real amen dare to make things real kuna kijana wa kwenu nimempata shero alikuwa anaketi hapo the other day two years ago nikaja nikaambia watu hapa nimeomba a whole night bwana kaniambia hii kanisa kila mtu alie na maono eh atimisa sasa kila mtu alie na maono don't give up nikatembea hapo nikiambia vijana kwa nini msi apply masters ngambo scholarship ziko things are real those things exist yeah yeah na nikasema tu hivi na kama una imani tumia imani yangu Ali, alisema alienda akasema i move now by the message no alipata scholarship bila kusaidiwa na anybody it just god gave way na america sasa tukaona ako na visa miaka mitano tumepatana the other day sasa masters amemaliza amenipigia simu la siku ya bishop nimeajiriwa niko na work permit and have a very good job in america Sikizeni, the last three years imemtoa kijana pale ambaye alikuwa anasikia kukufa sasa ako kazi ya maana ako na masters ya IT earning a lot of money in america na amemanufa jia amejiunga na kanisa letu la Lakewood wewe hiyo miaka 3 what have you done na katika meza ya bwana leo nataka usukume akili yako mpaka ufanyike kitu are you hearing what i'm talking about the real you is a rich person the real you amen praise god bwana asifiwe bwana sasa sana bwana inuliwe people uh, i remember one time kuna mp moja alikuwa rafiki yangu alikuwa anaitwa mwenje Mwe, uh, tulitembea naye nikaona Mr. Kiso sababu naona kuna uh, vita vita unaweza ni kama unaweza kufa any time kuna mashaba hapa inaitwa Tasia mashaba hiyo ni ya NSSF mmoja kaamuka kachukua mwongiki na masiraha akagawa yote na akasema mtu akija kuwanyanganya huwa sasa kaniitia sasa wewe kama ukienda eh huwa Nikuwa naitua mashaba ya kanisa naitua um, plot na hizo plot kwa sababu za magegoni giri kubi ayike kwa wewe ukeenda tu najua wewe wewe uko pagi 10 50 pay hundred 10 10000 10000 10000 chukua 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 na ukichukua kama una buduki kana buduki sasa sasa nasikia hii kiroho hii ni mbaya na pembelezo now within a very short time serikali kapitisa ikasema hiyo mrandi 
umekubalika vile wa watu watafanya ni kulipa kitu naitwa tenant purchase mimi sasa ndio niliamka wakati huo kwenda kununua unapata masai masai hapo kwapia unataka shaba eh wekerea milioni mbili hii kama huna kwenda kai upeperezwi na nilikuwa naitwa na ngiri 10 sasa ile nilipata nilinunua 1.6 million within 2 years Hello praise God. The same thing Soweto, Soweto tuliokopa sana. Sasa Soweto likubalika wako na title. Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo kagapo, hiyo kawoga unakuwa naye between you and the real. Nikabaya. Nataka kuona watu hapa who are so daring. Afadhali Amen praise God. Afadhali uniambie bishop kuja vita imechacha lakini you are daring enough hiyo ka space between the mahali uko na kile unatakiwa kuwa kuna uoga uko hapo kuna uoga uko hapo kitu kingine kuna business iko hapo kitu kingine kuna laana ya uko iko hapo because some people hiyo gap do the same gap iliko na baba yako Unakuta baba yako walikuwa wanafanya kazi na michuki na kina matiba. Wao wakasoka wakanyakua Kenya. Baba yako kuna wakati watu walikuwa walikuwa Ibruburu ilikuwa inakaa wanyama na Don Home huko. Watu wakiabua kuja uchukue kamoja hapa. Sema hapana, kule kuna panya na kuna nini. Waliochukua sidi walitajirika baba yako si aliitua kakataa Hello Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Kuna uoga fulani na unapata vile yeye aliogopa hata wewe in your time that fear uko naye Ni kama uoga wa kuridhi Na hii kitu imefanya watu wengine hata makanisa isiwe kubwa hata huduma It affects even your ministry. It's true. Kama u jamaa naiba umenueka huru kweli. Ukuliza the rejagi, u jamaa the other day tukata kubiri kigari, alikuwa nakuja na gita kwa the rejagi, acheze tu kidogo wapeo kitu wa kukura. Siasa ni milionea. Siasa meda sana. Yuka. Leo hata President Ruto wakimtaka aje, hawezi mpata. The man is becoming a watu and the other one muna ipanje bazaka hapa hawa alikuwa kegari nikitatu na iba kidogo akarawapewa kasadaka akakure viasi but dani yake kulikuwa na greatness anaiba lakini kule ndani is a mighty person amen aliketi aisema kwamba aliketi akaona nyimbo zake zikieda East Africa yote akaona Hallelujah. Akaona. And then he, and he dared. Na hiyo wibo amenueka huru kweli unajua ni wibo kwa kwa hembuku. Zinaitwa nyimbo za wakofu pasa. It's not how I just compose. Ameingia tu kwa nyimbo zilitoka wakati wa East Africa revival. Haziibwi. Akachagua nyimbo hizo zikoe za revival. Akachagua nyimbo mbili tatu. Akaiba na sauti yake na maombi ika na akawa na roho ya excellence because kitu kimoja kina mnataka kinafanya mtu awe tajiri na awe mkubwa kwa huduma na faru sana ni wale watu ambao wako na roho ya excellence kwapo kiaza kitu lazima kiwe kisafi na kishida kwapo ukianza biashara unasikia lazima neighbors wote wae nyuma yako na si kwapo unainuka una, una anybody excellence eh, si dio mwalimu wa Sunday school excellence kwapo mtoto akiingia Sunday school hata kama ametoka neighboring churches hazi cannot compare with your, with your lessons excellency sasa huyo ameiba bwana unasikia nyimbo mnaiba huo we bogged america every state last year they gonna chase every state na every state anaitwa na wakikuyu wa east africa na mnajua watu wa east africa wako america they are millions hallelujah praise god na hata asipoenda kwa youtube subscribers Unakuta wibo na jamaa unakuta nyimbo zake ni 20 million whatever whatever 
Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to hear him the other Kabia Bishop or something. Me ni iba tu nyimbo bili. Adipo ya da studio. Akonika ni mtoto sana na pigo pigo vio vio. Anambua wei isi nyimbo rudi. Na mwenye kumabia isi nyimbo. Ni wivu wanaona. Adikoje ya toke studio. Akawangia na mwingine ambao anavalio. Kambia. Si wei ucheza usikia ye. Akaeka vitu bwana. Mwenye adikuwa na mudiscourage. Alipata ilima kwa studio ile ile yake ametoa nyimbo. Hello praise God. Sasa nyimbo zake zimeenda. Ananiambia kile DRC. Wale waskari wako na buduki kule. Kama ah si hudi aiba wibo ule nimaliza moto sarama nini nini ni. God that gap should end now wapendwa. You are the real you should now happen. And today I believe in with all my heart vile nimeomba nikaambia Bwana things should happen things should happen let me read the scripture and then to ingia kwa meza ya Bwana Kristo ni Bwana Kristo ni Bwana Kristo ni Bwana haleluya Now katika John chapter 5 verse 17 Kristo aliongea kuhusu aha Jesus chapter 5 verse 17 Akawajibu baba yangu anatenda kazi hata sasa nami ninatenda kazi Now my father works works Akawajibu baba yangu anatenda kazi hata sasa nami ninatenda kazi We are talking about gap about in a maliza business okay God, if you go to other scriptures Psalms chapter 1 Bible says kwamba heri yule mtu asiyekwenda katika nini do you know that scripture let's read Psalms chapter 1 very quickly by God's grace do you have somebody moja heri yule mtu asiyekwenda look at this person Psalms chapter 1 inaongea ku separation mtu aba ameamua kuwa different Socially, umeamua kuwa no kuna maisha staki kuna tabia staki eh kuna mwenendo hutanisaidia huyu mtu asiyekwenda katika shauri la wasio haki wala hakusimama katika jia ya wakosaji wala hakuketi barazani pa watu wenye misaha by the way these are three areas about wengi wetu utatuona ndani we need to change friends we need to change Ukiniuliza okay, ni watu gani wameanisumbua sana kwa huduma? Ni watu ambao wako katika this le- three levels. Unakuta mtu ameingia kwa shauri la wasio haki. Unaona mtu amekaa kwa jia kwa saji. Unaona huu ni dugu, ni dugu wa kanisa. Wameketi wako wa dugu watatu. Inaitwa barasa ya wenye misaha. You are discussing other people. We need to come out friends. Heri mtu asiye kwenda. We need to come out from a certain group of people. Certain behavior. Certain setup. Heri mtu asiye kwenda katika shauri la wasio haki. Wala hakusimama katika jia ya ukosaji. Wala hakuketi barazani panya misaha. By the way, if you have a business, jia moja ita after the, the people you employ watch out wasi wakateze group kama mtu ambaye ambao umeajiri kwa duka yako ni mtu ambaye anatembea katika shauri wasi haki huyu mtu ni mtu anasimama katika jia ya kosaji huyu ni mtu anakaa barazani wenye msaha your business your fall it your fall you need to introduce your character in your business you need to introduce your level of performance bwana sio sana and the sema kwamba Huyu mtu is active where sheria ya Bwana ndio inampendeza look at this issue sheria ya Bwana inamaanisha huyu ni mtu ambaye anatafuta ways of success nataka kujua katika sheria ya Bwana ni wapi Bwana ame ni nini kimeandikwa kunihusu nini kimeandikwa kuhusu my success nini kimeandikwa katika Biblia katika akano la Bwana ambayo inaongea kuhusu my future you know i remember when i read the book of uh, uh, Daniel yakiwa hamishon bado sema nami nikaelewa kwa kuvisoma vitabu 
kwamba tulikuwa tukae uhamishoni miaka sabini. There are things you understand by reading the books. Nami nikaelewa kwa kusoma sheria ya Bwana kwamba sitakiwi kuwa nikikaa kayode natakiwa kuwa nimehama huko. Nami nikaelewa kwa kusoma the way God works kwamba sitakiwi kuwa tena nikiteseka. There is an understanding you develop out of the law of the Lord. I meditate upon the law of God so that nitaelewa katika hii sheria Bwana ameniweka wapi? And the Bible talks about the product. Inasema hivi, mtu aliye na tabia kama hiyo, anasemaje? Eh eh. What does it say verse 3? Naye atakuwa kama nini? Muti. Number 1, separation. Mtu aliye toka kwa hizo group tatu. Akaingia katika sheria ya Bwana ndio aelewe the ways of God atakuwa kama mtu mtu uliopandwa kado kado ya vijito vya manji this talks about performance you will be a performer amen you will be a producer you will be a woman of influence you will be a source of deliverance you will be a prophet you know this person unakuta kwamba huyu ni mtu uliopadwa kada kado ya vijito vya maji uzao matunda yake kwa majira yake now let me say this. kuna watu wanasema kwamba you are suffering rejection let me prove to you why sometimes you have rejection hello praise god because let me say this mtu huyu ambao ni kama muti uliopandwa kando ya vijito vya maji mmoja mkati na hivi Tuataka kununua viti ya kanisa hamsini. We unaongea vile bei iko juu, unaongea vile uchumi umeharibika. Na huu mtu ambaye ameketi hapa, yeye ni kama nini? Muti uliopadwa kwenye vijio za maji, uzao matuda kwa majira yake na majani yake hainyauki. Unasema sasa ta gruto aingie. Yeye sasa Hajui ruto, hajui uru, hajui uhuru, hajui raira, hajui jua, hajui nini. Yeye the kind of performance yake ni kwamba yeye he never with us. Wewe unaongea kuhusu jua kali. Yeye anasema hapana, even that at this time I'm ever green. What you happen? Lazima ukiongea unaona kama hata kusikiza. Hello praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna mahali ukienda kuhubiri Siku hizi ukienda kuhubiri kuna mhubiri wa Kenya alienda Britain akapewa hall moja I think it was Liverpool either, either some of the midland uh, cities is it Northampton au nini akaanza kuambia watu vile ako na gari tatu Lady Cruiser Of course in Britain Lady Cruiser hawani haja yake because hakuna mirima hakuna matope they buy some other small cars who are, which are very expensive sasa sema and then hiyo hall alikuwa amekondishwa na mzungu fulani na amelipa already na amelipwa a preacher from kenya is preaching is coming to preach mwenye amempa hall alitoka kule kwa ofisa kenyan preacher stop preaching Oh, I sue you. Hapa Britain hatuogei kuhusu ile pesa mtu ako naye na magari. We preach truth. And from now you stop preaching or oh, I sue you. Hako bitana. Are about the content ya mahubiri ni ya kiburi. Siku hizi ukipewa visa ya visit wanasema tumekupea visa ya visit lakini usiende kuchangiza pesa ati unataka pesa ya kusaidiwa kununua chakula masaini What is happening French Mimi nataka mbarikiwe sana nyinyi mbarikiwe nini sana 
mpaka ukiachwa pahali peke yako Hello praise God Uko na gari umepake pale unajua you drive home Si ukiachwa uachwe Unaweza kusema I'm suffering rejection wameniacha Sababu sina gari umeachwa sio sababu na gari hata masaa huji kuchunga Kwa maana wewe hauko katika wao wamepandwa uko katika baraza ya nyamsaa Yaani mnaongea hapo na na, na, na makazi yako na kucheka cheka kucheka cheka. Jamaa mwingine hapa alikuwa amekuja mnakutana mpaka saa saba kwa maana saa nane ako na mkutano Nairobi. We una mkutano. Ukiingia pa one day we hutimiza one one thing. We get wataka saa biri niko kayole saa tano nataka kuwa hapa nitimiza ku saa kumi niko vika road saa moja niko fellowship tukitembea na wewe tutaachana sio rejection ni vile huja hama katika baraza ya nyamsa hello praise god let me say this when the lord blesses you kwamba unazaa wakati ufao Na hakuna mtu anai baraka. Si baraka ni akira mtu. And Baba said, and whatever you do, you shall prosper. That's how God wants us to be. Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, talks about mutu are born delivered from rejection, from hopelessness, and you become somebody. And the Bible says, he is in mambo ya watu. By the way, he is in mambo ya na mungu. If whatever you do prospers, see people at the People you will see. Amen. This is a blessing of your life. See, yako na watu furani. You need to make, na wapendo musikubali kudaganyika. Ure mutu anaitu awewe, the real you. It's not the way we see you. You are a great woman. Ni uongo ringia na niyake. You are a great man. Ni uwaka furani unakaa katikati yako na reality. Hello, praise God. Because in the real you, you require uvujike kidogo. Uvujike. Hello, praise God. Eh? Unakuta mizirika uko bank unanegotiate kuchukua roni ya 100 million. Ukiabiwa wilo talipo na wakopa. The real Lazima, lazima ukubali. Nonakuta, diyo kufanyike the real you. Lazima chukua your own. Na lazima ujikaze, diyo ule mutu uona sikia dani ya zaliwe. Kuna kipidi hapo, itaji kushida uoha. Jabo ni gine ni kushida laziness. Kwa mwano kuchukua yu pesa, lazima ulipe kila mwisho wa mwezi elfumia tano. Elfumia tano si pesa kidogo. Utamukia hiyo jabu. Lakini within very short time. Utakuta kwaba. Kilo likuwa naona. Abacho dicho wewe. Kime tokea. In Jesus name. Leo mketaka tuwape kabisa. Si vizuri tuzeke wapedwa tukiwa tumepepa tumaono. Apana. Si vizuri wapedwa tuzeke tukiwa kwamba. Kile kabisa otakuwa kuwa. Hauja fanyika. Halo. Halo. Iwe kwa ba mukiniona, ispokuwa hii suti limeva, na katrosa, na nimenyolewa, na ule, na, na ito kinyosu wetu, there's nothing else. No napata hawa watu, ata prophecy kito, kitkea, unawakwa paka sana. Unajua yu kitu inafekta ata kiroho. Mungu wakisema, amesema we ni milionaire, amesema utaya dabari. Unawakwa pa. Unajua, unajua jana, uh, no, the other day I got a parent daily. Kabia msazi, now this is an issue. Mi ni mepigiwa simu na mtu ambaye you know, some of the people that we have raised kabia bishop he kuna chances he is in chance kwa Canada wajusu kuhizi reba imeenda pandele wale mkwa airport 
every day hutakosa vijana 300 wanaenda kazi Canada na Britain It's true Nairobi hiyo tumelala Nimeona kwenu rais anasaidia kidogo si kule ni nyumbani Niliingia ndege ile nienda airport eh, Dorot situoge ukweli Nikapata wazazi wamejaa huko nikauza what is happening kwa ndege imejaa Njua nilikuwa naingia ndege nikakuta vijana nikaabu hapana ni wazazi wanasindikisha watoto wao wanaenda Australia. Na nikaona hey, this is very good. Na niweki. So every day, every day, every day. Sasa wewe wezi day hivyo uko na homesick. Tutaacha mke wako. So, you know when we are shooting and I saw the connection kijana mmoja hapo anafanya harusi nikamwambia fanya hivi kaa na muke miezi mbili hii mwezi wa tatu wewe enda kwa maana hata atakumama na nakula kuraga sana and then nikaba bishop ukipiga simu kaba this person akifanya kazi miezi sita ataruhusiwa kuita family yake wacha waende Badaku, you know vijana wetu wanda kaujika kigine na asho tuto saidia vijana. Kupika raudi hapa tu, hapa tu. Wacha waende. Now, wahindi wameenda. Leo kienda Britain tuakuta mea masiyo wakuba ni wahindi. Ukienda Canada, utakuta uh, ukigia dege zao, wahindi di wakodani. Hello, praise God. Uenda airport unakuta the other day ilikuwa eh, Barclays Bank ukigia customer care unakuta Barclays Bank Britain customer care is hardod na muhidi ya koidia Sisi tuyo tuna home sick mnakaa nyumbani nini na hivi siku siku na ujinga huku huku kishagi mnakuta mzee anakaa hapo anakwambia kati moyo na dubia sasa sasa nyinyi hamwezi rudi huko Siku na watu walisema tukirudi nyumbani huko tutakufa. Second Kings chapter 7. Tukirudi tukatua ku. Tukikaa vile tuna kazi ni kubaya. Wakasema let us go. Hii kitu ya kuwa real lazima wasema let us go. Haya, no siete. Kuna watu wakisema let us go. The only thing you do ni kutembea the same area. Unaenda hapa. Let us go. Ni hivi mbele. Nasema twende mbele. Walisema twende mbele kwa jeshi la dini la Celia. Wakituhifadhi watuhifa. Wakitu watu uwe. Hiyo kitu, hiyo kitu ya kuna hatua mtu upiga. Ambao inaitwa nikihifadhiwa nihifadhiwe, nikiishi niishi. But God you give you grace kama ni amekuongoza. Lakini mi nimeonyeshwa. Nyinyi ni watu wakubwa. The new you is great person. Si hata unasikia kama hivyo. Katikati yako na the real Siku na uoga huko hapo. Si leo tushinda huko uoga. Are you ready for that? Leo nitawaombea sana. Ah, nitawaombea sana. Ah, hallelujah. Nasikia Brown. Siku kana wewe at the same way two years. Na Mungu anaongea mama kubwa hapa. Hapana, lazima wewe Mungu ni wa kweli wewe ndio muongo. Na wengine unakuta tuikaa sasa hiyo two years ndio naisha sana. Lazima iwe kuna kitu kibaya because Bible says he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper time has come mtu ashike hii ahadi ukataye naye kama itabidi ulale kama unaomba kama itabidi utebe mailo ngapi kama itabidi ubadrike karibu DNA iishe ubadrike you need to hold it kama itabidi usikume mambo mpaka watu wafikiri bio yako imezidi bwana umefungua biashara hapa lakini ile bio uko naye neighbors hata hawakuelewi wanakuta within three months where do na surprise nyama kwa jeshi huzima hauzi tukuo ta hapo within four months uko na supply na supply mashua na robi you know why kwa sababu ile speed unaenda naye ni speed ambao in a demand kwamba you have to become what the word of god says the word of god demands that i bear fruit in my season 
Amen. Na my leaves should not wither. Bio bona kibia dia hiyo. Unaona nikienda pole pole nitakuwa mazao ya majira haya. Nikienda speed nitakuwa product ya hadi. Ukienda pole pole utafanana na vile nchi inakaa. Wewe nisalimie ni. Hallelujah. In a robi is very very easy to be lazy. Hasa nyinyi wa mama ambao mmeolewa. Mnaniangaliaje? Umeolewa lakini mzee is very hard working. Unajua hata nisipoenda kazi nyumba italipwa. Stima italipwa. Si ni kweli? Na kama kuna we, na kama kuna kuna zuku. Wale wa mama wengi ambao hawaendi hawana shughuli unakuta una spare time kuna nini? Kuona YouTube kipindi fulani kipindi fulani some of us dakika 30 ati nione mu Nigeria igwe nimetoka to me hai decide kisa kigira kiko na kofia kinatoa usiji uchawi hata ati ati usikie ra no 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 afadhali nienda pahali you know me i like spending time thinking thinking so tana ninapata pahali nimekaa kwa meza and i'm start i start writing writing so again now i'm back or rather i read a book how maybe nifungue uh, tablet yangu nataka uh, niko na interest ya kujua uchaguzi ya america naendaje niko na interest i want to know those facts nataka kujua ukraine kunaendaje nataka kujua what is happening in israel i want nataka kujua mambo kadhaa praise the name of the lord nataka kujua currently kenya biashara na nini naendaje nataka pia kujua some reports of makanisa i want to know some things at least praise the name of the lord sasa nyinyi we umeona hiyo 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 michezo ya igwe na nda nini alafu tukija kanisa unalala kwa maana hata yesu itabidi uwe introduced again introduction to, to what? unakuta mama wa maana inabidi hasa hii christmas christmas mnaaguka sana ukija tadwali nikaba tunakufurisha wipo ina mikana sema yeso anaweza acheni kwa kwa basi mimi tuombe sasa let's start for prayer hallelujah